I haven't posted any new videos for a while now because I've been busy developing and building two new machines at the same time. Uh, this is the first one. I'm just going to show this one in this video. The other one will come later. But uh, basically this one used to be my own personal T2. Uh, so what it is, is it's actually it's modification of the T2. Uh, the thought being that um, if, the, if the T2 coils were increased maybe twice the size, you can see, I can show you from this angle maybe here, you can see how wide these are now. There's about, uh, gosh, there's probably two and a half pounds of copper in each one of these 12 coils. But, uh, but it's, they're roughly a little over twice the size of the other ones. So I figured it, with the uh, T2 in resonance, the, um, uh, the voltage was 180 volts. So if I at least doubled the coils or thereabouts, then I should be able to get maybe 360 volts. I'm, I was just kind of hoping for that to, to see if that was the case. And so what I did here is I, you can see that I've extended the chassis to accommodate these, these larger coils here in this, in this area here. And then I put the, the toroid internally, so I think that's kind of cool. Uh, it keeps it out of the way and it's protected and you don't bump it or anything like that. Uh, I'm not sure that I will make this unit as a, as a kit. Um, maybe just an upgrade from the T2 because the T2 still is a very cool machine and you can see this has got all the same stuff I'm, I'm not using the the meter here I'm just going to use just this top one and so it'll it'll perform uh, pretty much the same way as as the T2 does it just gives you a different result I suppose if I was going to call this machine by a new name I'd probably call it a T1X. Uh, T1, obviously, because it's got one toroid, and X, just because it's it's an extension of the T2. So that would probably be it. But roughly, you can see it. And I've I've taken the capacitor that was over well, actually, it was over here on the T2, and I've just uh, joined it up here, just bolted it in there. So it's it's uh, not much different. It just keeps the the, the caps tighter together here. You could you could put this over here if you wanted. It doesn't matter. And that's that side. And, and that's it. Okay, now we'll we'll give it a test. Okay, I've just connected the meter here to these two points here and here to test the resonance. And this is the input here and I'm just going to go ahead and use this 12 volt battery. Uh, in place of the El Cheapo solar panel back here that uh, I would prefer to show you because it's it's 15 watts with this thing when it's charging batteries it only draws about 13 watts and so and it's not just one battery you can charge a bank at that and I know you're wondering how in the world can you do that but I'm gonna show you what this does it's it's pretty amazing anyway I'm, I'm using the battery to try to keep this video short I uh, just want to make a quick demonstration, but uh, here we go. So we're going to power it up, and we're going to start it at 18 volts. So it's up and running, and you can see that on the meter, that first the voltage jumps up, and then it has to settle down to its, its resonant voltage. And it's really strange. I, I, I know this, this sounds odd, but sometimes it takes five or ten minutes for this thing to balance its system out uh, to, you know, to get into the, the full um, potential of the, of the resonance itself. Okay, so you can see that it's sort of settling down now on the meter, and it's uh, reading 375. That's pretty good. I was hoping for about 360, which would have been twice the 180 of the T2, and I got it. So that's that's not bad. But I also realize that it's only at 18 volts of input, and the point, the the peak point of resonance on this machine is actually 26.1, which is an odd number. But for the T2, it's uh, 23.4, I think. So roughly, we're talking three, just three volts 
oh, let me turn the ammeter on. It's uh, pulling about 400 milliamps. And dial it up to 26.1 on the DC to DC converter. It's tricky. We're close. Come on. <laughs> All right, good enough. Anyway, so now you can see that the voltage jumped up to 415. 416, not bad, but it's not in resonance. It's not in full resonance yet because what I decided to do, it, it, this is where it's different. I decided, well, what if I take some of that high voltage and excite the secondary coils of the, these are bifiler coils just like the T2 but excite the secondaries of all these big coils would that would that do anything Would that give it any additional power? Would it, what would it do? Would it spike the amps? Would it drive everything crazy? Well, now this switch here uh, says HV res charge and start. So right now we're on the start. So HV res is high voltage resonance and that's where you want to put it when you're charging batteries. So I'm going to flip this on. You see the current drop down. The voltage comes up a little bit so we can we can dial that back down to 26.1, okay. Oops, get it back up there. All right. And you can see now we're rising over 600 volts. We just picked up 200 more volts. 200 more volts. Can you hear the machine? I think I'll take the camera off the tripod so that you can hear the sound when the coils are excited. Let me turn it off. Okay. You probably heard that off. Okay, we're just listening to the sound. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to flip it on. Off. On. Off. So, <laughs> it makes an interesting sound. It's not like uh, another machine that you might have seen that actually is deafening when it hits resonance, but, uh, but it's still doing its job, and, and it does uh, make that interesting sound and lets you know that, that those excited coils are, well, they're excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, so... That's, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you is uh, that instead of 360 volts when it's uh, resonating in the um, bifiler coils, uh, now by exciting those coils we can push it over 600 volts. So when it runs through, when it's charging the batteries and runs through the circuit, uh, everything is all kind of combined together and feeds back in and pulls the voltage down. I've got it down to a point where this one right here outputs 24 volts. Uh, in one battery, four batteries, whatever you want to put in a series of 24 volts. And down here, I don't know if you can see it, is the 12 volt output if you just want to do uh, 12 volt batteries or, or batteries, you know, in series that are they're still, or I mean parallel that are still 12 volts. So that's it. Uh, let me know, maybe make some comments or send me a message or something if you, you know, if you think this, this would make a good kit. I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm just going to do it as, a, as an upgrade to the T2 because there's a lot of T2s out there and those individuals may want to boost this up. There's a few new parts. You're going to lose a toroid. You're going to gain... You're going to have to get the, the big coils and you're going to have to get these extension rods here uh, to extend the chassis. And uh, what else? I've got a high voltage cap that's in the system too behind the panel. 
So that's pretty much that's pretty much about it. Everything else stays the same as the T2. In a few more minutes it may be 620 and then it kind of goes up and down. It's very strange, but this there's, there's a lot to this resonance and um, and I'm going to keep pursuing it because there's there's something there that that uh, I think we've been overlooking for some time. Thanks. One final note. I get a lot of comments sometimes. This, of course, this thing will charge batteries. But I get I get comments sometimes of, you know, what's the point of of this thing? Well, I'm going to tell you what the point of this machine is. I'm going to tell you what the point of any of my machines are. I'm trying my hardest to develop a technology that will make you more energy independent. That's the freaking point. And uh, I'm getting closer and closer to uh, machines that, that, um, that are going to uh, hopefully provide that solution for you. Uh, so that's the point. Just wanted to tell you. Thanks.